Welcome to Ring Theory. A well-known quote from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy is Legolas talking about Ents in the Two Towers. The elves began it, waking up the trees, teaching them to speak. Whilst this is true, it also led to a common misconception that the elves actually created the Ents. They didn't. In this video, I'll be looking at where they come from and their purpose. The Ents creation was similar to the Dwarves in that they were created by one of the Valar, rather than Iruiluvatar himself. Elves and men were known as the children of Iluvatar because they were created by Iru. The Dwarves were created by Aule, the smith of the Valar, whilst the Ents were created by Yavana. She was responsible for all things that grew in the earth and also the wife of Aule. Yavana created the Ents after seeing her husband create the Dwarves, knowing that they would want to cut down trees. The idea being that the Ents would become shepherds of trees, protecting forests from those Dwarves, but also Orcs and other evils. The Elves, who were passionate about talking to all things, told tales and had stories of how they taught the trees how to talk. That is what Legolas's quote is based on. They had already been created by Yavanna and were sentient beings. The Elves just taught them how to communicate. The significance of this cannot be downplayed though. Treebeard describes the act as curing the Ents of their dumbness. As each Ent usually resembled the type of trees that they were guarding, it led to a multitude of different looking shepherds. Each could vary in colouring, height, size and therefore strength, and even the number of fingers and toes that they had. As the Orcs were created by Morgoth in Mockery of Elves, it is said that he created trolls in Mockery of the Ents. Their strength though did not match those of the tree beings. Merry and Pippin describe this as their punches can crumple iron like tin, and they can tear apart solid rock like bread crusts. Not much is known about the early history of Ents in Middle-earth. They very seldom ventured from the trees that they protected, not getting involved in the wider stories in Middle-earth, essentially staying true to their created purpose. This is why the decision to wage war on Isengard in the Third Age is so significant. One of the most heartbreaking passages in the book, also well represented in the films, is the story of the Entwives. Treebeard talks to Merry and Pippin, asking if they have seen any, as they have lost them. Whilst the taller Ents tended to the larger trees in the forests, the Entwives would tend to things like flowers and the grass. They were said to have moved further away from the Ents in the First or Second Age, and went to a region that would later be called the Brownlands. After Morgoth was overthrown, it is said they taught men agriculture. Upon seeing Ents in the trailer for the Rings of Power, I imagined that they would perhaps teach the Harfoots how to eventually create Hobbit holes. With the first season now finished, at the time of recording, and there not being any other mentions of Ents, my hope of this is dwindling. In The Fellowship of the Ring, Sam briefly described that his cousin once saw a tree walking north of the Shire. Although this gives a glimmer of hope that Entwives may still be out there, it is most likely a horn. Horns are lesser Ents, seemingly lesser physically and mentally. It is unknown if they are Ents becoming more tree-ish or trees becoming more Entish, or perhaps even a mixture of both. According to Treebeard, there haven't been any actual Entings in a terrible long count of years. Since there appear to be no more Entwives, it also means there never will be any in future ages of Middle-earth. When we meet Treebeard in the Two Towers, it's safe to say that the number of Ents without any Entings have greatly reduced. Without the hope of Entwives and future Entings, most sadly grew more treeish and ceased moving or speaking altogether. What exactly happened to the Entwives was something Tolkien never described in the books. However, he quite famously in one of his letters said, I think that in fact the Entwives have disappeared for good, being destroyed with their gardens in the War of the Last Alliance. Although here he stops short of 100% confirming their demise, it's very ominous. I also mentioned earlier that they were last recorded in the area that went on to become known as the Brownlands. The reason it was called that 
was because these once fertile lands were devastated by Sauron during the wars in the Second Age. It's unclear whether these lands were simply scorched and burnt, or whether Sauron used some sort of sorcery on them. What is clear is that these lands were completely devastated, and not even a patch of grass would grow on them from then on. Not wanting to end the video on that sad note, after the Ents destroyed Isengard and trapped Saruman in the Tower of Orthanc, they destroyed dams which flooded and transformed the region into a forested area renamed the Treegarth of Orthanc. After the events of the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, or King Elisar, declared it an Entish realm entirely under the governance of the Ents. To summarise, the Ents were not created by elves, just taught how to speak by them, they stayed true to their purpose throughout the ages, and after the War of the Ring, did not desire power. All they wanted was to rebuild a home and return to it. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.